Hey guys, even here, and I have something very interesting for you, a new bodybuilding rivalry, sort of. So, it all started with William Bonek commenting on Hunter Labrada's uh, post, his progression photos, and it's not Hunter Labrada versus William Bonek rivalry. There is beef between William Bonek and Nick Walker, actually, and Sergio Oliva is in the mix as well. So, this was the first comment. William Bonek commenting, uh, looking great, brother, get this and join us at the Arnold's before the Mr. Olympia. You are a legit contender who is going to crush some overhyped dreams. So, everybody was wondering who was he referring to, who is the overhyped bodybuilder of this year. And there is only one bodybuilder this year that was really, really hyped very, very much so, and that is Nick Walker. Everybody in the comments felt the same way, they all tagged Nick Walker and then Bison and Tries Instagram page made this post and one of the top comments was the comment of Blessing of Oribu, a formal rival of Nick Walker who actually tags Nick Walker and says I think Bonac just took a shot at you bro, what are you doing my guy? And Nick's response is yawning. And then it gets more heated up, so somebody tags Sergio Oliva saying that Bonac might be thinking about him. And Sergio's response is, why would it be about me? Doesn't make any sense. I never once said I would beat him or anyone else on that level. Only one person did. You all think because I'm the only one who posted about what I said that all the top guys didn't message me and text me thanking me because they're sick of it? And here he is referring to saying that all the bodybuilding lineups recently have been very weak. And uh, he was thinking about the New York Pro, for example. And then he's saying that the top pros like William Bonac probably texted him and thanked him for saying that because they agree that the New York Pro lineup was very weak and the other lineups this year or the year before. Nick Walker responds to this. So he says... What's everyone so mad for? Because I have the mindset of a champion? Because I don't train to be anything less than number one? LOL, sorry, I believe in myself. Maybe more people should have this mindset instead of settling for less. Just my opinion though. I'm gonna tell you what I think about the whole situation in the end of the video, but before that, pay attention to the number of likes Sergio Oliva gets and Nick Walker gets on this neutral ground, so it's not Nick Walker's comment section, it's not Sergio Oliva's comment section, it's Bison Tri's Instagram page, and Nick Walker seems to be getting a lot more likes, and Sergio Oliva is getting barely anything. Sergio replies, he says, I already told you in our private message, they were disrespected. I also already told you why, everyone will see in September, so there will be no more confusion. Nick replies to him, saying, so you think I'm gonna get embarrassed? And here is Sergio's response, bro, what is wrong with you? You're gonna beat all of us, right? So why do you care what I think? Just do your thing, you're the only one who hasn't stood next to these guys saying you're gonna beat them. You think I don't have a champion mindset? You think Akim, Ian or Cedric don't either? Every time you say that you disrespect us, like you want it more than us, cause you make bold claims with no facts behind them. I assure you I have every champion mindset you have, brother. Calm down, thinking we ain't working like you. But don't worry, like I always have, I have stuck up for you to them when they all messaged me. I told them you say things to help you grind. It's your dumb fans who speak disrespectfully about the veterans who have been around for years, earning their respect. That make them dislike you. But I told them don't hate on you for what they say. But you also don't ever correct them or check them and what they say. I don't think anyone's gonna be embarrassed at Arnold. We all earned it, even though your fans don't think so. And then Nick responds, I have no control over what people say, nor did I say no one had the same mindset as me. We obviously have the same mindset to get on that level we are at. No one should ever feel disrespected for me being confident in myself. I don't talk bad about anyone. I don't disrespect anyone. I speak about me and only me, that's all I'm saying. No one competing should ever feel any type of way for that. That being said, I'm excited to compete against each and every one of you and I think it's gonna be a fantastic show for everyone. And that was all, that was the end of the show. So basically, 
This kind of explains in what kind of terms Sergio Oliva and Nick Walker are. So they're not friends, they will never be friends. There was talk, I mean, Sergio was saying that they fixed the problem in the, in the, in the DMs, but apparently that is not the case. So it all started actually with Nick Walker saying publicly that uh, Sergio is not doing Chicago, and then Sergio attacked him and Fouad, and he had a lot of bad things to say that he had in mind before this thing happened, such as that Nick, that uh, New York Pro wasn't a good lineup, it was weak, and so on. And now Sergio is mad that Nick Walker has a mindset of a champion. He believes he's gonna win. He believes he will win the Mr. Olympia. He is confident. And Sergio hates that, for whatever reason. Probably jealousy, I don't know. I am 100% on Nick Walker's side in this, because Nick Walker has all the right to say whatever he wants. If he thinks he's gonna win, he should say that. He shouldn't be like, I'm gonna be fifth. No, no, every bodybuilder should say they're gonna win. And, that, and they also believe that. What is the point of competing if you believe you're gonna be fifth? I mean, yeah, maybe it's more realistic, but it's definitely way more exciting for the fans if we hear these guys believe they're gonna win. And even if he had something bad to say about the other competitors, as far as their physiques, that wouldn't be so bad either, really. That's just rivalry, that's just smack talk, whatever. Yeah, I, I don't mind it, I don't think it's bad, it's wrong or anything, but Nick didn't do anything like that, he's just saying he's confident in, him, in himself. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. And Sergio then starts talking about uh, Nick's fans saying stuff like that. Who cares what his fans are saying? I mean, he has no control over those guys. I don't know how Sergio is perceiving this, but fans are not like a club. <laughs> I mean, that's just a lot of people who have different uh, likings. A lot of people like Nick Walker and those same people like other bodybuilders as well. And sometimes maybe they will comment on some of the photos and say stuff like they think Nick is gonna beat whoever or whatever. I don't think that's wrong either, but Nick definitely has no control over that. And uh, I am definitely 100% on Nick Walker's side in this. Sergio seems like he has some serious anger issues. He's always complaining about everything and crying. And I don't know what his problem is, but you can see the like ratios. Nobody's liking his comments. What he's saying makes zero sense if you ask me. If you guys disagree, tell me down below in the comment section. But I just simply don't see the logic in his words. And now we also have William Bonek on the same boat with Sergio. And William Bonek was also known for being an aggressive guy, an angry guy. You guys remember when he attacked Louis Marco? Let me tell you, there was absolutely no reason for this to happen. Louis Marco was praising William Bonek quite often and he was saying that he should move to Kuwait. As he was saying about every other prospect in bodybuilding who was close to becoming one of the top guys. He was saying that about everybody, and uh, somehow William Bonek took this as a threat. I don't know how, how does this uh, make any sense, but he took it that way and he attacked Louis Marco at an expo. So that tells you what kind of a person Bonek is too. As far as physique, he's one of the best guys, but as far as personality, there is something, I think he has some kind of anger issues. There was also a moment in a press conference at Mr. Olympia, I'm not sure which year, when the audience started laughing at something what he said, and it wasn't something to be laughed at, they didn't understand him, so he was aggressive towards the audience, he was like, what is funny, what is funny, something like that, I don't know if you remember, so Bonek definitely does have some anger issues, just like Sergio Oliva, none of these guys make any sense, why is he offended by Nick saying that he's gonna win? Of course, he should believe he's gonna win, why would he compete if he thinks he's gonna lose or be 10th or 5th or whatever? I don't think there is anything wrong with this, this is just my take, you guys tell me what do you think down below in the comment section, like this video if you enjoyed it, and if you want to see more videos like this, bodybuilding videos, subscribe to my channel. All the best guys and bye bye.